Hello, class of 2021. Congratulations on your acceptance to Duke. Here are five tips to help you navigate the visa process, understand the immunizations procedures as well as student medical insurance, and answer your questions about international orientation. Now that you've been admitted to Duke, you'll need to go ahead and apply for a passport if you don't already have one. Tip 1. Complete the Duke Visa Services online web form. You'll receive an email from the undergraduate admissions office with a password for you to complete the web form application. Once you've completed the web form application, you'll need to send the signature page of the web form application and accompanying documents to the undergraduate admissions office. Once undergraduate admissions has received your documents, Duke Visa Services will be notified and they'll begin processing your visa document, known as an I-20 for F1 students and a DS-2019 for J-1 students. After your visa document has been issued, Duke Visa Services will FedEx your I-20 or DS-2019 to you and will provide you with instructions about paying the CVIS fee, applying for your visa stamp, and traveling to the United States. There are a lot of helpful information on the DVS website, so check it out. Do you have questions about enrolling in the Student Medical Insurance Plan? Good news! Tip 2. All F1 and J1 visa holders will be enrolled automatically. No further action on your part is required. Your insurance coverage will begin August 1st. For those students who register for international orientation, you'll be able to pick up your insurance card at the East Campus Housing Office when you move in. Speaking of the international orientation, don't forget to register for international orientation. International House invites you to attend the international orientation on Sunday, August 20th and Monday, August 21st. International orientation is an opportunity for you to build community with other first-year international students, become familiar with campus, and move in early before orientation welcome week begins. Over the summer, you'll be hearing from your International House Orientation Peer, or IHOP for short, by email. The IHOP team is responsible for facilitating the orientation and making you feel welcome at Duke. Feel free to ask them questions about student life, academics, or adjusting to college. The registration deadline for international orientation is Friday, June 30th. Please visit the iHouse website to register. You may be wondering, if I register for international orientation, when can I move in? Once you've obtained your visa document and visa stamp, you can book your flight to the U.S. Plan to arrive at Raleigh-Durham International Airport RDU is approximately 25 minutes from campus. Assuming you register for international orientation, you'll be permitted to move in on Friday, August 18th, or Saturday, August 19th. We recommend you arrive on one of these days to give you a little extra time to recover from jet lag. Do you have family members who will be coming over with you to help you get settled? Well, we have an orientation specifically designed for them. Don't forget to remind your parents or other family members to register for international parents' family orientation. This orientation will help them become familiar with the international house, learn about campus programs and services, and meet other new international families. Your parents should register on the iHouse website by Friday, June 30th. If you have any questions over the summer, please feel free to contact any of the following offices. Thank you, and we look forward to meeting you in August.